we're going to try and create a, a graph uh, or a, a, a chart of a phase change of matter. Uh, we know matter exists in uh, possibly three phases, solid, liquid, and uh, gaseous. Uh, and uh, depending on the type of the uh, matter, um, it, 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 it changes phase at different temperatures and pressures. So to generalize or to familiarize with this process, we're going to study the phase change process of water, which is the most um, recognized and uh, most easily identifiable uh, 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 type of matter and uh, uh, most people and um, if not all are familiar with the um, uh, different phases of matter and it can be easily recognized so i'm going to try and explain the process of phase change in in uh, water um, uh, and uh, explain uh, the importance of uh, uh, understanding this in uh, the study of thermodynamics and uh, properties of pure substance. Now, to make a clear understanding of this process, I'm going to start creating uh, a graph here, uh, a chart or a graph here explaining uh, the uh, the different stages of uh, uh, the phase change process. Now, you have your y-axis and uh, x-axis shown here, and uh, on these axes, uh, I'm going to use uh, two different terms for uh, y-axis I'm going to use uh, temperature T and uh, for x-axis I'm going to use uh, um, entropy uh, I know I haven't really discussed uh, this topic in any previous videos but uh, do keep uh, watching and I will be publishing uh, a video on entropy and the, and the concept of entropy in the near future so this is going to be a uh, temperature entropy plot now we know below zero degrees celsius at atmospheric pressure water the the phase of water is solid or or water will be in ice form and uh, between zero and 100 degrees celsius water uh, remains in a liquid form and uh, above 100 degrees c that is in uh, gaseous form. Uh, these all three conditions are uh, at uh, one or these temperature ranges are, are applicable only at uh, one atmospheric pressure. Now, we are considering one atmospheric pressure here and uh, let's start with say minus five degree uh, at which condition uh, water will be uh, solid or ice. Now, assume you have a uh, hundred gram of ice in, uh, 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 in a pan and uh, you are going to heat it uh, or in uh, uh, um, or input heat into the ice uh, and thereby increasing the temperature of ice so as you increase the heat the uh, uh, or as you as you uh, give more heat into the ice the temperature of ice increase and uh, it will reach uh, a point where um, the uh, phase change starts and uh, you you are quite familiar and above 0 degree uh, water will change to or start change to uh, liquid. So let's call this zero degree C here. And uh, what happened here is uh, the ice will convert or start to convert to liquid. And uh, you may you may be familiar with this process. You know, if you increase the temperature of ice, once it reaches zero degree Celsius, it will not convert to water all of a sudden. It will take some time for water to completely uh, sorry ice to completely convert to water uh, throughout that time period the temperature will remain same at zero degree celsius this is the important point to note here that uh, during a phase change process the temperature will not increase it will stay the same at whatever the beginning temperature or the initial temperature is so at zero degree celsius the ice start to melt and uh, the temperature will remain same for the entire duration until the whole ice whole of ice is converted to water so you can see this is zero degree even though it's not a my intention was to draw a straight line here even though it's not a, a, a perfect straight line uh, uh, just my remind uh, just just bear in mind the fact that uh, it is zero degree Celsius throughout so from here to here it is zero degree Celsius and here it's solid and here it's liquid. So this is again an important uh, thing to note here that uh, you have uh, two forms coexisting 
at uh, one temperature you have ice at zero degree here and uh, liquid uh, water at zero degree here these two points are called uh, saturation points so what is a saturation point it is nothing but uh, a, a condition where if you add or remove heat that uh, matter will start change uh, the phase so for example here you are adding heat and uh, at this point as soon as you add any heat any infinitesimal amount of heat the ice will start to melt so in this way the uh, liquid uh, the, the conversion from uh, solid to liquid will start and uh, this is another saturation point where if you remove heat from water at zero degree c the water will uh, start changing to ice or uh, change the phase uh, to become ice so these two are the saturation points at zero degree celsius for water at one atmosphere now let's assume that we are going to increase the temperature again so what happens if we increase from zero degree to say 100 degree you know from zero to 100 degree the water will uh, at some point the water will start boiling and at, at 100 degrees celsius it will still be boiling all of water will start to boil at 100 degree c now again maybe from even from practical experience you know that as soon as reach 100 degree c the water will not convert to uh, vapor all of a sudden it will take again as here some time for water to convert to uh, the whole of water to convert to vapor again at that time uh, for that duration the temperature will remain the same at 100 degree c so you have another two saturation points here one is the liquid saturation point at 100 degree c and another is the vapor saturation point at 100 degree c again to explain that at the liquid saturation point as soon as you increase the heat at this point the phase change process will start and uh, the water will start to evaporate and at this point there is no water it is all vapor and uh, as soon as you reduce or remove some heat from the vapor at 100 degree c it will start to liquefy so the lick the 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 phase change process from vapor to liquid will start if you remove a, a slight amount of an infinitesimal amount of heat from steam at this point and the phase change from liquid to vapor will start if you add an infinitesimal amount of heat into water at this stage so you have to you have defined another two uh, saturation points here now if, you know if you increase heat further nothing will happen other than the heat uh, the steam will become superheated steam so uh, uh, the steam can uh, exist in the same condition uh, at uh, higher temperatures so if you can have it at 150 or, or 300 degree or whatever temperature you want you can heat it and that steam excuse me is called a superheated steam so you have defined three phases here in this region to the left of this point to this region is all solid and uh, from here to here that is solid and uh, liquid and this region is whole liquid and uh, from here to here that is liquid plus vapor or liquid and vapor and beyond this period this point that is all of the uh, liquid has converted to vapor and it's all vapor here now that is the phase change process of water at one atmosphere remember all this happens at one atmosphere one atmospheric pressure now the important thing is we can generate a graph from this um, process and uh, explain uh, the general condition or the phase change process of water at different pressures uh, using the same methodology which i will explain in the next video do keep watching thanks for watching and uh, uh, make sure you watch the next uh, episode or next uh, continuation of this video to understand better the temperature entropy plot of a pure substance Thank you for watching.